So Vivian, we know that uh, the reloadable shelves have been in the market for a long time. When they first came out, we normally saw the single shot reloadables. Right. And how has it progressed from the single shot reloadables to what we see now is a 60 gram canister? What was the natural progression? How did it go? Well, as everybody knows, the single shell is first came out. And then, you know, people are very smart. They want more. And then come out with the double shell and triple and even quart shells. Then later, we came out of uh, the small canister and then also the eggshell. Those are very popular years ago, but people still just, want more. Just quite not enough yet. Not enough. So they want bigger, more powerful. Then now we have this 60 gram shells. These are very popular in the USA market now. But even though they're really, they're really popular, what do you sell the most of still? Oh, well, still, you know, the single ball shell is still very popular. Uh, also a double and then eggs are why, good too. Why is the egg so popular? Well, the eggs, you know, most of the eggs that we may have the mine. Oh, so it has so a adds mine the mine, lift. yeah, to wow. mine and lift and then, you know, break up. A big break. Fantastic. Mm hmm Five inch shells? How popular are five inch shells? Um, I've got a five inch tube right here. Yeah. So, five inch shell, five inch <laughs> tube? <laughs> well, it's 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 different, totally different oh, thing. Different. This is this is for the ball shell, you know. Oh. So it's a like a Okay. Mm hmm So these five inch The five inch is the length. Is the length. It's oh, the length. Okay. And this five inch is the diameter. Diameter. Oh. Diameter. Okay. So do you what's this right here? Well this is for um the shooter. So shooter that's, for a can it um, So that's a firing system? It's a firing, kind of firing system, but not for fireworks. It's for um, Indoor. confetti cannon. Con confetti cannon. Yes. Single shots. Uh, this is the Roman candle. That's the Roman Multiple, candles. Yeah. These, These are, are your single, single shots. shots. Yes. How popular are the Roman candle batteries? Well, Roman candle battery, you know, the need is it's quite stable. I mean, not grow big and no shrinking. Okay. So pretty much steady okay. requirement from and people. And your single shots, do you still sell a lot of your single shots? Um, single shots, for me, it's not, a big, it's not a big part. Well, the big part is from the cake. Okay. And cakes, you have all sizes. I see... Uh, yeah, small we have a yeah, small one, 200 gram cake. And uh, is this here, what we're looking at, going to be a new... Uh, a new assortment, new assortment making box? for one of my customers. So that's so sort of how, how you lay it out before you put, um, it, put it all together? So you know what you this want This is what box? he wants us to lay out like this, but we have to, you know, re remodifying a little bit, make it fit so better. So you're going to have a, two boxes of five inch reloadables. You're right. going to have three, six, nine, 200 gram cakes right. and four, 500 four, gram. Yes. That's a show in a box. Yes. That's fantastic. I love your tea table. Oh uh, yeah, this is my tea table and this, and this is the Tea, uh, tea pot and you know two pots and then I put hot water here and the tea and then then pour the tea here and then make it for everybody to the small cup. The hard thing for this is how to make the packing good, look good, you know. 
something like this is easy to break. Yeah. Yeah, and then you have people that like to go. And right, pull, pull. right, right. Even the finger can, yeah. you know, break the package. But these are what people in the U.S. really, really enjoy. They they like the big firecrackers. I know. They like the the bigger ones inside. I've seen some firecracker factories that actually make this for the U.S. market, but instead of just one firecracker mm -hmm. being this size, they actually put like three of these together in this one tube to okay. make it. Okay. So it looks, uh, so it actually does go off and but go But you know, I mean, I just thought that a lot factory is willing to do this because there's a lot of labor work. A lot. A lot of labor yeah, work. A lot of labor so, work. Um, and is that about the largest cracker roll that you sell? I think so. How many firecrackers are in one of those? I think it's uh, 150, 100? Uh, how do I say? 150,000? Is, is it 15,000? Or is it 16? I think this one's 16,000. 15,000. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. Vivian, can you tell us about this pack of firecrackers here? It looks like cigarettes. Well, this is for domestic market. Is it, I have I? one at home. <laughs> and Jesse happened to see it and he said, Oh, you've got a carton of cigarettes sitting there. I said, you better read it closer because it says 400 Class A cigarettes right there. But what does it really have in it? Well, it's, it's, it's really firecrackers inside and it's a very unique package. And, you know, designed specially for domestic market. So what do they normally use this for? Um for you know for spring festival you know and spring festival chinese, spring, new, chinese Year's. new year yes and then you know the design the color the firecracker is exactly the same color of this rose red and what's the name mean jinju jinju fei cui pao what does that mean um, it's golden chrysanthemum firecracker, something like that. Great. What's this? Oh, it's a, also a confetti cannon shooter. Confetti cannon shooter. Yes. So this shoots. This shoots three. Three. You can do one by one, or you can do two, or you can do all three. three at once. All three at once. Yes. Wow, this is pretty neat. Yeah. <laughs> so people are so smart, you know. Confetti cannon from, you know. And it's easily reloadable from what it looks. It's reloadable. Yeah, this, yeah. all you have to do is hook up a new right. uh, confetti into it. Mm -hmm. So this is where I should, you know, plug in. And that's channel three, so I'll go yeah, power channel on. Right. I'll turn. <laughs> <laughs> See? Watch out, Jesse. <laughs> See? Power on, channel three, poof! <laughs> and away it goes. <laughs> All right, great. Um, so I think maybe we go into the other room now. Uh, let's get a couple of the. Okay. We'll just the walk quick for the okay. cakes. Now, looking at uh, your 500 gram cakes, mm -hmm. from the first time I was here, it sure looks like you've added a lot. Yeah. We have new items every year, you know, coming out. So uh, every year we'll add different dummy samples in our showing room. Why dummy samples? Well, because no powder is allowed inside a building. That's oh. the government policy. That's too bad to make, yeah. oh, a lot of people would like to go, oh, that one sounds good. Let's take it down and <laughs> <laughs> shoot it. <Yeah. laughs> can't do that anymore. Yeah, I can do that. We, we have a, a specified place to shoot items in New Young. So I see some sets. Sets. Right. 
So the like this is an all red, all green, all blue. Well, uh, the or, color will be the main thing, mm -hmm. but we'll combine different effects inside. Okay. So it's not just you know red pearl or something. Okay. It's more beautiful than that. So what's an electric jellyfish? Well, one of the one of the main effects performance inside is the jellyfish. So that's why item name is is like that. Okay. Vivian, maybe you can talk about um, like you were just saying. You don't, you know, you have to shoot the fireworks at the demo site. Like mm -hmm. I think even I've noticed since last time, there's like less fireworks being shot in the streets these days here. It used to be more. Well, actually, no fireworks is allowed in the street. So everybody, if you want to shoot fireworks, we have to go to the shooting site or far from the city limit. Now these are, we're getting into our three inch shells. Right, that's the big the thing. Four inch shells. Right. Over here we've got five inch shells. It's so-called five inch. <laughs> so-called five it's inch? So-called five inch actually is still, you know, um, it's four inch tube. Yeah. And two and a half inch shells. Okay, what about uh, your, th your threes? Are they real three inch? Um, if we made for the USA market, it cannot be a real three inch because we're doing, you know, like consumer fibers. Only yeah, but... It's two and a half. It's two and a half. Half inch okay. shell. Because I've seen a lot come out that uh, are better than other ones, so I think some of them are actually uh, three-inch shells. The big tuna. It's like a gangster and a, and a, a woman, I think. Huh. It's not very clear. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to pay attention, you know, to when, when we do the design, when the whole picture looks good, it doesn't really mean it looks good when it wrap around, you know, yeah. the tubes. You look at some of the novelties that uh, we used to grow up with and play with through the years. Now you've got so many more sophisticated ones. Mm -hmm. uh, that it's hard to recognize what we used to play with is right. This is one what of the we little, used to what 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 we grew up with <clears throat> is this the little tank tank your little cars and the tea, teapot, teapots your right. dragon the dragon the race cars mm -hmm. and now I understand that it's going more towards plastic right uh, use unfortunately. For for the different items. So, like this police car, mm -hmm. that's plastic, but what does it do? Well, you know, for plastic, the only shortcoming for plastic toys is we cannot get very complicated performance. We can only put one tube, one powder tube here, and then push the car moving forward, and then with some sparks. Okay. That's all. But one of the good things about it, of course, is you take one of these plastic cars and put it next to a tank. Mm -hmm. Which can I play with longer? Well, this can play longer. It's, it's kind of like, you know, reloadable. <laughs> well, not really reloadable, but it's reusable. So you can keep using it after you've already toy. used the toy. So that's, that's a, it's one a of the good thing. things it's about It's a good thing, it's a good thing, yeah. Okay. And we walk around here and take a look at some of the other things. See, the, the, there are other samples of the plastic toys, you know. It's very vivid. It's, it's, it looks like real. So that's a, a good thing too. Yeah. And we take a look at some of these. When we first, the first one that we ever saw out the was poopy puppy. the poopy puppy. Right, the poopy puppy. And now, how many different ones do you have? 
We have, uh, you know, Kitty. We got Poopy Puppy, Smelly, Ellie, um, the Ellie, Pink big Elephant, and small, you know. the and Blue, blue. A and a huge big <laughs> Poopy Puppy, a Kitty, Naughty Cat, Complacent Cow, another cat, a fish, Big Stinker, Elephant. So what's are they all about the same exact thing? It's, it's the same performance. It's all, you know, poopy thing. Do you have mm -hmm. an assortment, a poopy assortment? <laughs> <laughs> well, we try to, but it <clears throat> looks like people like, you know, single item more than the assortment. So we give that. <clears throat> now, punks. Mm -hmm. Safe pyros like to use a punk, but when I was growing up, we could only get this. And nowadays, I see they have thicker, see thicker, the thicker and bigger. Bigger, yeah. So, from what I see, I guess that's these, the, yeah, these that's must the big be <laughs> the professional model, right? <laughs> well, actually, I, I I'm not sure if they are using this for fireworks only or for other purposes. Maybe both. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that, that is huge, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are used for like religion too, right? Like uh, yes. temples. Yeah. Or, yeah. Actually, we use yeah. here in the temple, yeah. but yeah. when we, you know, ship out of the country, people in different countries use it for, I don't know, sometimes they just use it for some, mosquito. Some of them actually use it and, like for, for an incense. Incense. Because uh, one of my friends in New York mm -hmm. imports a container of these and in his shop he sells an oil that you anoint them with mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you can have all these different smells from a long burning incense. Oh okay okay well other people told <clears throat> me they use it for the bugs you know. Bugs yes. Uh, assortments you've got a lot of different assortments here now. Yeah um, you know, Sorman is always a popular item in the USA market. It, it fits for the whole family. Yes. From kids to adults. So we have different size of assortments. That's the biggest one that we made. And we have a, a small one, like this pack. It's a small one. So that's more for the kids then? Well, these are more for the kids. And the big one is more for the adults. The big kids. The big kids. <laughs> <laughs> and something like this is for the whole family, you know, from safe and sane to reloadable. We have it all. Roman candles. What can you tell me about your Roman candles? Um, actually, for me, Roman candle is a kind of a boring item. <laughs> so um, y you never expect, you know, um, several different performances, usually just red, green, pearl, you know. Well, like this one. This is an adult candle. Adult candle. And this is kind of, um, you know, a new item from cakes. It's, it's so similar it to cakes. So it has a little bit more than a little bit more what this one would be. Right. And well, this is not. This is just, you know, a crackling. Oh, that's a crackling candle. A crackling okay. candle. Okay, so different than what different this one Different than this would be. one. This one is the red and green purse coming out. So for the real small kids, safe. And I and see fun. they come in a lot of different sizes. Right, because they have different shots inside. So this is a five shot? It's a five shot. And your big one here? Big one here is a 50, 50 shots. 50 shots. Right. And uh, we have even longer, bigger one. Yeah, I've seen 120 shot. Right, but not showing here. Well, it wouldn't fit there. <laughs> no, it wouldn't fit there. I have to put it on the floor. <laughs> The rocket. The rocket. 
Now the rockets made for the U.S. industry mm -hmm. really are pretty small. Yes, I agree. And I see some pretty big heads on these, but... But small tubes inside. Oh, so it really doesn't matter whether it's this size or this size? They're both about the same? Oh, it dep depends on, you know, how many grams of powders that we can put inside. How many so, grams can you put inside? I think it's 20, 20 grams. So 20 grams in this or 20 grams total for the rocket? 40, uh, 20 grams total. So only 20 grams total is allowed for the U.S. rocket. I think so. That's, so, yeah. that's sad. If, uh, if people want better rockets in the U.S., what should they do? Complain. No. <laughs> no yeah, other who, way. Who should they complain? <laughs> CPSC. Hey, the government. They, they, they need to ask for CPSC to change the policy, you know, change the standard. Because I don't think the CPSC really realizes that when you do a rocket, your engine itself can be actually over 20 grams, which leaves nothing for the top. So you could still make a safe rocket, but leave some more room for a header? Oh yes. You could definitely leave a lot of room for a header. Because like our normal shells, if you do one of the 60 gram canister shells, you're looking at about uh, 52 grams mm -hmm. of powder weight in there, not including the lift. And if you include the lift, that makes the full 60 gram. Right. So. What's the difference between that and, and this. this? 